Hey, what's going on guys, it's Anton. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up GitHub Actions with a React application for your virtual private server. So right now I have this sub route over here for my domain name. And you can see I have a sample React app. Now let's say if I wanted to make a change. So this is the production application right now. And let's say if I'm working on my app and I say, hey, look, I want to make a quick change. Let's say I don't like this hello world. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get rid of this P tag and I'm going to save and I'm ready to deploy everything. So I'm going to go ahead and just simply do a git add, git commits, deploy, then git push. So we're going to push all of our changes to GitHub and we should get an action that gets triggered. So we're going to have a queued job right now. So just give it, it roughly takes about a couple of seconds. I think each job took about an average of 50 seconds. So it really just depends. So right now this job is in progress. It's going to run through a series of steps. But you can see that it's going to install all dependencies Then it's going to run NPM test build. And then uh, this is a custom script that I wrote that just changes the directory. And I'll explain a little bit why I did that. So yeah, our build just succeeded. So now if I refresh this page, you can see that on the production server, all of our changes have been taken into account and we don't have to manually transfer all of our files from our local machine to our production server. We can let GitHub Actions take care of that for us. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to just simply generate an application with create react app. Okay, so while this is generating, I'm going to go ahead and just create a new repository. I'm assuming that most of you guys already have a project set up already. So you obviously can skip this part for a repository. It can be either public or private. Doesn't really matter. So we're just going to create this repository. I'm going to just copy the URL. Okay. So our react application is done. I'm going to see the into it and it already initialized the repository with Git already. So we can just simply add Git remote add origin. So I'm just going to add my Git repository. So now we just open this up in Visual Studio Code. Now you could just directly create the workflow on github.com. So you can just click on actions and you can scroll down and you can click on, uh, where is it? Node.js right over here. So you want to set up a workflow for Node.js and you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name this React. So you could just set everything up over here and then have it commit to your master branch. And then you can just push everything GitHub. But I'm just going to go ahead and create this on my local machine. So I'm going to create a new folder called .github. So I'm creating a subdirectory called workflows inside the .github folder. And I'm going to create a new file called React YML. And I'm just pasting all of this that was coming from over here. So let's just go through this really quickly. So basically, this is the name of our workflow. So you can name this whatever you want, React CI CD. On this property over here, it, these are all the events that you want the workflow to trigger for. So let's say, for example, you can see that we have a push event. So whenever you make a push to your repository on this specific branch, on the master branch, then this whole workflow is going to get triggered. So you can type in whatever branch you want. So master deploy production. We're going to use a deploy branch. So I'm going to have to create a separate branch later. And it also works for pull request too. And after on, we're going to go over to jobs. And this is basically the job that you want to execute. You can execute as many jobs as you want, but let's go inside build and runs on. So you you can actually use GitHub Actions that is hosted on the GitHub servers itself. You don't have to use your own virtual private server. Let's say if you don't have a VPS that has a lot of RAM to spare, then you might want to run the GitHub Action Runner on the GitHub servers and then have GitHub Actions SSH into your server and then pull the latest files into your server. But we're going to change this to self-hosted because we're hosting this on our own server. And down here we have a strategy matrix. So you can actually run this whole job on different versions of Node. So you can see that it's running on version 10, 12, and 14. I'm only going to do it for version 14 for now. And then down here, steps. So these are all of the steps that you want the build to go through. So you can see that npm ci clean install. I'm just going to change to npm install and I'm going to change the order. So I'm going to have test go first and then build after. And we do have these scripts, so it's not going to fail. So if you're missing any of these scripts, then this whole build will fail. And if one thing fails, then the entire build is going to fail. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new branch locally. And then we're going to push everything to GitHub deploy. Okay, so we're pushing everything to our deploy branch because you don't want to deploy directly on master. So you can see that we have deploy right over here. If we click on actions, you're going to see that it's going to give us a build failure. 
right? We have this whole new tab over here. You can see deploy and it says no runner matching the specified labels was found. Okay, so this next part, we actually need to go into our virtual private server and we need to actually set up the GitHub action runner. So you're going to go over to settings and you're going to click on actions and then you're going to click on add runner and it's going to give you a bunch of different instructions. But right now I'm on my server. I'm just going to create a directory called hello react. And I'm going to CD into it and we're just going to copy this command down the latest runner package and you can see that you can select whichever operating system you want in the architecture so we're just going to copy this so this is going to download the tar.gz file and then we're just going to copy this command which is going to extract the installer we should get a bunch of files so the next thing that we want to do is copy this command under configure so it's going to ask you enter name the runner so i'm just going to name this hello react and then we're going to skip this part for labels and then enter the name of the work folder i'm just going to name this hello react so we're good to go and now to run everything we can just use this dot run sh file we can just execute this but of course this is going to block everything so if you control c out of it it's going to stop everything so you can actually use the dot svc sh command so we have to use sudo to run it so if i do sudo dot slash svc dot sh you can see that it shows you the usage so there's a bunch of commands so we first need to install so there we go we've installed it and then we need to start the service oh whoops start Okay, there we go. So you can see that it says running and we can use the status command. You can see that it says active running. Okay, good. So if you don't do this part, then your job is never going to execute. It's just going to stay on queue forever. So now instead of recommitting and repushing everything, I can actually just go over here to the failed build and I can just rerun the job. Okay, so now it's going to say rerunning jobs and you can see on GitHub, the job is starting. You can see right over here, it says running job. Okay, so it's setting up the job. It's gonna take a little bit. So just give it a couple seconds. So it goes through all of these steps using Node.js for version 14. It runs npm install, npm test, run build. Okay, so everything was completed. Now, if I go back to the server and if I ls, you can see that we have this hello react folder. So that was the name of the work folder and then the hello react folder. So you're going to cd into hello react. Okay, this is the name of your repository and you're going to cd again. And then now you can see that we have all of our files and we have this build folder. The next step that we need to do to actually get our application live is we need to set up nginx to point to this build folder okay now there's actually a bunch of different things that you could do you could try to move this folder into the var slash www folder on your server there's a whole bunch of things you could do i suggest you guys to try things out yourselves but just for simplicity what we're going to do is we're going to actually have to add another step and this is something that i wanted to do because basically with nginx the way i configure everything is we're going to we're going to change this folder to the actual production folder so it really depends on how you have everything set up so since I am running everything on a sub route, as you can see right over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write another command that's going to change the name of this build folder. So MV, uh, let's see, I got to get the current working directory. So I'm going to change that to the sub directory, the sub route that I want to visit for my domain. So you can see right over here, this is test react app. So I'm going to change this to hello react okay and obviously i don't have this route with nginx configured right now so we're gonna have to configure it later i'm going to go ahead and just push everything again so now you should see once everything is done the build folder should no longer be build it should be hello react so we can go to actions we can click on deploy and if i type ls you can see that all of our files are gone so it basically replaces the files every single time and it's going to run the build so yeah this last script is just going to change the directory the build directory to hello react Shouldn't take too long. Okay, cool. All right, so now if I tip ls, you're gonna see that the name of the directory is hello react. So if I cd into it, we have all of our uh, files, the build files. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this whole directory. And I'm gonna show you how I am gonna configure my server. Okay, cause like I said, it's gonna be different for everyone. If I go over to hello react right now, you're gonna see that it's a 404 not found. So we're going to go into sudo vim etc nginx sites available so i'm going to configure my server block right now and let me just go down to 160 line 160 okay so i'm going to set the location as hello react and since the sub route is hello react as you can see right over here so this is why i needed to change the build folder to hello react because that is going to be the same name as the subdirectory and you want to delete the part with the subdirectory so it's basically going to point to the previous directory that holds the subdirectory kind of like this okay now if i save this 
And if I restart, and remember, like I said, your Nginx configuration might be completely different than mine. Now, if I refresh, you're gonna see that I actually get an error. I actually had this before. So you're gonna see that it says fail to load resources. And the reason why this is happening is because right now, if we actually go to the network tab, you're gonna see that it's not found. There are a couple of ways that you can fix this. Again, it's different for everyone because it depends on your configuration, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my package.json file. And I'm gonna go and a new line. And for the home page, I'm going to set it to hello React. Now I'm going to build everything again. So now it's going to build it with a new home page. Okay, so now you can see we get a 404 not found, which is the reason why it's because of the build folder. So we're going to just change this to hello React. There we go. Okay, so this was a little bit tricky. So basically what I did was I just changed the homepage to Hello React and it seemed to work. Apparently that fixed it, though I actually had a different issue where my CSS files were actually being mapped to a different location. Like I had this issue where all of my CSS files were going to the subdirectory slash subdirectory. I'm not sure why exactly that was happening. Apparently that seemed to have fixed it, but if you have any issues, let me know and I'll try my best to find a solution for you. But let's go ahead and do one last thing. So on my local machine, I need to set the home page and let's go ahead and make a change. So let's just do a P tag. Hello world. This should be all good to go. We have our workflow set up correctly. Okay, good. So we're gonna go ahead and just deploy again. Um, and yeah, this is my Nginx config right now. You can see I have a bunch of other locations for my config. And this this right over here, test react app, this is what I had to do previously. I had to rewrite the URL because you can see right over here that I had a bunch of different JS and CSS files that were being directed to slash test react app slash test react app. And I wasn't entirely sure why that was the case. It was very tricky because I had the same exact folder structure, but I'll have to look into it later though. You can see that right now our application is currently down because we have a 404. But once this is done, we refresh and you can see we have our hello world changes right over here and everything seems to be good. So yeah, like I said before, your Nginx configuration is going to be different. Everyone's Nginx configuration is going to be different. It just really depends depends on how your server is set up. Though I'm not sure if you'll have any issues with React routing, but if you do get any issues, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to try to find a solution for you. So anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out. And like I said, please let me know in the comments if this works out for you, if it doesn't. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.